hapon Pilipinas at buong mundo. Nay tay kapuso. Pero po ng 20 minutes ang inyong hapon. Ako po si Boy and welcome to Fast Talk with Boy Abunda. Maraming salamat po sa mga nanonood sa atin sa ating live streaming channels sa YouTube at Facebook. At sa lahat po ng nakikinig sa DZWB, welcome to the program. Happy birthday, Libay Constantino. Nasaan si Libay? Maligayang kaarawan. Ayun, mamaya sasama ka kitang Susan. Maraming maraming salamat. Usapang Miss Universe po, kahapon ginanap sa El Salvador ang 72nd Miss Universe Beauty Pageant kung saan Michelle D. represented our country. She did very, very, very well. She did very, very well. At pag-uusapan natin yan dahil hanggang ngayon ay mainit talagang pinag-uusapan hindi lamang dito sa Pilipinas kundi sa buong mundo. Ang katanungan basically ay kung bakit hindi siya napasama sa top 5. But before that, we had a chance to talk to Michelle at uh, doon sa El Salvador. Narito po ang kanyang sinabi. Panoorin ho natin. Mga kapuso, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of your support. I would not have been able to power through this without all of your love rallying behind our bayanihan spirit. Pinakita talaga natin sa buong universo how we can come together and shake the whole universe. I honestly feel so grateful to be Pinoy. I've always been grateful, loud and proud palagi. That's how I wanted to raise my flag. And at the end of the day, I've always said this, that I just wanted all of you to know that I tried my best and we all collectively did. So again, maraming maraming salamat. Top 10 is still an amazing feat over such a competitive year. Of course, my reaction when I got called into the top 10 was amazing because not only was I carrying myself, but I was carrying a whole nation. I was carrying my family's legacy. And just to make it that far was such an amazing feeling. Again, it may not have been the result that we wanted, but we still show the universe what we had to offer. And for me, that is something that I can never replace. And ultimately, I just hope you enjoy the show. Just remember to always choose kindness and love throughout everything. We're proud of you, Michelle. You made this country proud. You did your best. You're the best. Uh, para sa amin, you are the queen. Para tulungan ho tayo pag-usapan ng Miss Universe at ang ilang mga issues na patuloy na pinag-uusapan po magpahanggang sa ngayon is the National Director for Miss Universe Philippines and uh, uh, the, the beautiful uh, Binibining Pilipinas Universe. So let's start with Shamsi Subsup, Lee. Sabi ko may Lee talaga, mga magalit sa akin si Lloyd. Hi, hi. And of course, MJ Lastimosa. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Thank you, Tito Boy, for having me. Maraming maraming salamat, please. Okay. Sabi ko kay Shamsi at kay MJ with 20 minutes to talk about this. Uh, Wala, parang kula. Now, why are we... Why are we talking about this? Why are we so invested? Why are we so passionate about it? Dahil ang ating pinag-uusapan po, bakit hindi nakasama si Michelle sa top five? Pero, uh, <laughs> okay, iisa-isahin ko na yung uh, mga dahilan. At doon siguro lalabas na, no? Kung bakit siya hindi napasali sa top five. Of course, ang sinasabi natin, ako, personally, ang feeling ko dapat nakasama si Michelle sa top five. Yeah, even for me. Yes. We, we all agree? Yes. Okay. Umpisa natin doon sa yung uh, Miss Universe El Salvador post. Or, uh, remember, may lumabas yeah. na top five. Nandun si Michelle. Tapos, uh, tinanggal, pinalitan ng Miss Thailand. Ang tanong ko, what was that? Was that an official, uh, you know, was that an official, how do you call that, uh, platform of Miss Universe El Salvador or Miss Universe organization? What do you know? Ako, I really have no idea, Tito Boy, but um, what I know is that it's a page for the Miss Universe in El Salvador. It's not the Miss Universe organization. Organization, organization. yes. Okay. And kasi nanood din po ako ng Miss Universe na nangyari dito sa Philippines during Maxine's time, um, Miss Universe is very strict with their space, eh. So kahit na, kahit na tayo yung um, Philippines, yung host country, host country 
hindi natin alam kung ano nangyayari kasi it's their show. So I don't think El Salvador has like the upper hand on what's happening around at the same time. So it was a mistake. Are you trying to on say it was side, a mistake on the part of the Miss Universe El Salvador to, to have posted that? We can only speculate. Yeah, we, we, can only, we can only speculate. But we saw that. Yes. Diba? Kaya doon nangyari yung what's happening? Something's mm -hmm. fishy. Yeah. I mean, bakit pinatiyan ng Thailand? Mm -hmm. So, nandun na yung mga aspersions dahil, of course, uh, Miss You is owned by uh, Kung An, who is Thai, and then Michelle yes. and Miss Thailand are very mm -hmm. good friends. Right. So, marami nang lumabas na usapan. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll go to the next point. People's reaction. Sabi mo ki RD, our head writer kanina, sabi ko, I don't want to quote too many people from the country. Dahil syempre, obvious tayo, kampi tayo to Michelle. Right. But let me go to people na hindi taga Pilipinas who were just as passionate as we are mm -hmm. about the non-inclusion, uh, non the exclusion of Michelle from the top five. Ronan Farrow, okay, anak po ito ng director na si Woody Allen at saka ng artistang si Mia Farrow. He is a, what, what award is this? Uh, a Pulitzer Award-winning wow. journalist who said that he was disappointed, uh, robbed, shaking, crying. Lou Shera, I'm sure you've yes. worked with Lou Shera, yes. the both of you, long-time chainer po ito, uh, ng uh, Miss Universe uh, candidates, said that she, you know, she, we, the Philippines was robbed. Okay? Your comments. <laughs> it's so hard kasi to, you know, to speculate or what happened kasi nga, of course for us, we always feel that our candidate should have been in the top five. Always. Always. Uh -oh. But we don't know how the selection process worked. And I always say that maybe if we have questions, we should ask the judges themselves. Mm -hmm. Like, ano criteria nila for judging? Because it was never announced. Like, ilang percent ba talaga ang, uh, like the evening gown part or is it that by the time ba ng evening gown meron silang top five in mind? Kasi we, we, we never know eh. Okay, How? Shams, that, that brings me to this question. As National Director of Miss Universe Philippines, meron bang kayong karapatan to request for, halimbawa, gusto namin makita yung score ng top ten to so. top five? No, but, you know, uh, they have an accounting firm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, sa inyong, uh, you know, in your uh, relationship with Miss Universe organization, can you actually request for that? That I'm not sure, Tito Boy. You're not I have sure yet. never, never asked to see the results. I don't know if they ever did allow... Did it's something that we should look into? Yeah. Because there's a score sheet. Ka eh. and but I they think... used to show the score, kasi, Tito Boy, Tama. Like, during the Trump era. The Trump era, yeah. Tama. And also because I think candidates, mm -hmm. na halimbawa may mga pagdududa, mm -hmm. have the right to say, hey, can I, can I see how I perform? But then again, every year, I feel like there's always a question naman. So I feel like them as an organization, they're used to like people questioning what happened, bakit hindi nakapasok I totally si understand that. Lalo na yung sometimes, uh -huh. they try to secure protect the judges as well. Because right. if you see the scores of each Iba judge, bash, no? <laughs> parang ganon, like, like... I also understand that point. Pero as to your point na dati nga, luwa na basta talaga, Shamsi, 9.8, sige nitong judge, uh -oh. etc. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was just wondering, maybe if you, we can review that, na meron bang karapatan ang national directors or uh, national organizations to go to the Miss Universe and say, hey, how did we be fair? How did we do? Para yung speculation mabawasan. Mm -mm. Okay, I'll go to the next point. Kasi hindi mga ordinary yung tao si Lucera. Eh. Yes. Hindi ordinary yung tao si Ronan Farrow. Mm -mm. Hindi ko na nga isasali yung tayo. Diba? I mean, the, the way, for example, Rian Ramos reacted, you know, something's fishy. I saw the post of Max Collins. I saw the video and the post of Pia Wurzbach na sayang naman, you know, kung nakaabot lang sa top five, meron tayo sanang pag-asa. You know, people were saying that there was a commotion after the last contestant was called for the top five. Are you aware of this? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi nakita, MJ? Wala. Hindi. May nakita ko screenshots online, but then it's just a photo. It's just a photo na parang may nagkakagulo daw. There was never a down. video, but then it could be just, you know, them asking for signatures because it happens, okay. di ba? Pumukha ka ng signatures ng every judges, but I don't know what really happened. We were not there. Yan ay intindihan ko yun. Yeah. <laughs> o, yung parang, kasi ngayon, nilalagyan na natin ng ibig sabihin ang lahat ang nakikita oh, oh, natin. Oh, oh, oh. It was just a screenshot. Yes, ito ba? Siguro me, siguro also as, you know, being part of Miss Universe Philippines for so long, Every after our pageant, there's always speculations. Yes. And many of those are like far from the truth. Mm -mm. Right. But then because people repost it, it becomes the truth. Yeah. But me, na andun ako, alam ko yung totoo, and mm -mm. anlayo niya. So mm -mm. I, I also want to give them the benefit of the doubt. Mm -mm. Because I know how it is to be accused of doing yeah. things right. that are not really true. Ito lang, Shams, napaka-intense. 
Yes. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't imagine uh, a Pulitzer award-winning broadcast, uh, uh, not broadcast, journalist, to actually come up with, you know, a post. Or Lou Shera, who was involved in the heart of Miss Universe, to say, I don't know who, kasi ang, ang sinasabi niya, hindi niya alam kung sino ang tatanggalin dun sa lima. But certainly, Miss Philippines had a place. If it were another one, na halimbawa, tayo, o oh, syempre, kami kami ni Michelle, oh. eh, winner namin si Michelle. <laughs> But itong mga tao na iginagalang, iba yung texture. Eh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Diba? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yun nga, si Pia also had her say, etc. Yung access... <laughs> okay. Pag-usapan natin yung mga tinatanong. Si Pia was asking this. Yung voice for change. Are you aware of that? Yeah. I, uh, before Michelle flew out to El Salvador, we already was given um, that for us to create like a video showcasing the voice for change. And we were told that it's supposed to be about how will you use your platform okay. you know, to help others. So, like, like submit kami ng videos for that. Pero were you aware yung butuhan <coughs> na uh, ganito ang one dollar for three votes Ay, wala. yata? Wala, wala yun. Hindi rin kayo aware na yung sinasabi nila ngayon na $12,000 ang mapupunta sa yung advocacy, the rest, the, uh, the, it was not clear, there was no full right. disclosure. Wala, wala. So yeah. people are complaining now na parang saan mapupunta yun? <laughs> At sa kadalawa yun eh, MJ, isang yeah. yung app sa Miss mm. Universe, kung yung vote. Yes. Okay, yung vote. Yeah. Uh, na ang magtatap daw doon we'll ay automatically automa go to the okay. top 20. Ito ang hindi klaro. Because ang pagkakaalam namin, si Michelle top that. Right. Yeah. Okay. Was Michelle part of the top 20 because she topped the fan vote? Or was she part of the top 20 because of merit? Kasi hindi klaro yun eh. Hindi yes, inannounce yes. kung sino ang nagta. Ako, speculation lang. Because there, there were years na tumawag pa sila ng, for example, 15, may pang 16 from the fanbase. Oh, I remember that. But I am thinking na since part na talaga siya ng top 20 and she's number one sa fan vote, hindi na, they don't have to call a 21st candidate for that? That I would say. It's very tricky. Uh, that, that's, that's very tricky. That, but that makes sense. I understand that. Uh -oh. Ibig sabihin, uh, bahagi na siya ng 20. So we uh -oh. don't have to have a so 21. Uh -oh. Pero ako naman, ang debate ko dyan, sana nagdagdag sila ng 1 because yung isa nakapasok on merit. Oh, right. Or, right. at the least, in-announce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, like how we do it, parang usually, if pasok na siya, the, high, the second highest fan vote, yung binibigyan ng chance. Binibigyan namin ng chance. Uh -huh. But this time, I don't know how they did it, but right. I feel like she was able to get in the top 20 by merit. So, yes. ina, uh, uh, kinaklaro ko lamang na dun sa Voice for Change, okay, ito yung ginawa natin, but there was no discussion about money. No. I, like, they just wanted the girls to get to know the girls more, mm -hmm. like, for who they are, mm -hmm. and and also to, I think, bring light to, like, causes that are close to their hearts. So, yun yung talaga main, okay. um, like, why they did the Voice for Change. And then, of course, yung naisip nila, it's good to have the people you know, be part of it, right. and then nagkaroon nga ng voting. Right. Yun na, pero dalawang voting. Yeah, diba? separate yun. Voting for the voice for change, and, and then voting, voting for, for, the, fan for the fan vote. vote. Okay. Yeah. I-assess natin ang performance ni Michelle. Mm. I mean, you're two of uh, the most qualified experts. Uh, Pag-usapan natin ang natkos, ang swimwear, and of course, that beautiful Wang Odd-inspired gown. Pag-usapan natin yung judges, 10 judges. Most of them Americans, because you've been talking about the judges. And the question is, are we overreacting? Are we sore losers? Or have we been <laughs> robbed of a place in the top five? Ang mga kasagutan. Sa pagbabalik po ng Fast Talk with Boy Abun. <laughs> Kasama pa rin po natin si Shanti at MJ. Judges. Ten judges. Nakita natin. You think they were fair? <laughs> <laughs> Ikaw sa pag <laughs> um, mahirap, mahirap sabihin. Pero ten yan eh. Ten na iba't iba yung choices, di ba? Tanong na lang. Sa karanasan nyo, MJ at saka Shanti, may deliberation ba? After the top ten? Yes. Uh, going After into the top five, nag-uusap-usap bang judges? That, I don't know in Miss Universe. Ang alam ko lumalabas sila nationals... sa before the coronation eh. Ah, dito sa local, sa may local, deliberation, may deliberation. pinag-uusapan. Yes. Why is there a need for a deliberation? Well, it's because parang, for us, for the, ano, for the winner lang ah, for like the top, like kung top five na, and then you're gonna announce the winner, you have to deliberate. Mm -hmm. Kung 
who's your winner? Mm. Para uh, okay. kasi minsan pag score right. kasi parang nag-iiba yung lumalabas. Yes. So we ask them who's your winner? Who's your winner? Who's your winner? Who's your winner? Mm-hmm. And then the the auditing firm will be there to witness. Okay. And then kung merong magtatay, somebody will have to break the tie. All right. Okay, that's for another discussion. I would love to talk to you about it. Are we overreacting? Are we sore losers or have we been robbed? I think we're just very emotional lang talaga kasi mahal natin yung pageantry. Right? You know why? You know why also? And I've been thinking about it since last night. <laughs> why am I so invested? Not because Michelle is a friend, no? Mm-hmm. You know why? Because she did her best. Yes. yes. And to me, she was the best. Right. And because uh, ang feeling kasi na ako, ang feeling ko, she, she deserved the crown. Mm-hmm. So I am this invested. Yes. Right. And Uh-oh. we're very passionate fans. I think we're the best fans in the mm-hmm. world. But I think we should also, you know, be kind. Yeah. It's okay. not um, attack the girls who win because it's not their fault. Uh, ako, I have no problems in Nicaragua. Not that it matters, but uh, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm okay. But I feel like uh, we're so passionate, we're so emotional that sometimes we attack and it oh, becomes oh. bullying. And, kasi and that's not okay. Michelle always says, well, be, time, kind. be kind to, Kindness. to others. Oh, Kindness, oh. Kindness go along way. And, and dami nating sinasabi online and yung winners, like the top three, they will see that. They'll get hurt then. Kasi parang okay. kina-question mo rin at the same time yung Tama. possession nila. Tama. And they worked hard just, you know, okay. as Michelle worked Mabilisan hard. Mabilisan lang. Assess natin. Not cause. What do you think of Michelle? Oh, with the not cause talagang, actually, sa drawing, drawing pa lang yan, pinakita niya sa, na, sa akin ni Michelle. I was telling her, this is not the typical conventional, conventional uh, costume, diba? But you liked it? I told her why. Okay. Mm-hmm. I asked her why pala. I asked her why. And when she was able to explain it to me, and I said, okay, you're bringing not just the Philippines, but yourself, mm-hmm. your personality into this, then go. Okay. Approved. Sa akin, okay, yan. kasi nakita naman natin si Thailand nagtuktok. So parang may, maybe it's time for us to like try something different. We've been okay. seeing, right. you know, Filipiniana costume like for decades. So Finals night, swimwear. Ay, grabe. Superb. Diba? <laughs> no, swimwear niya, parang really lumabas good. siya. Yeah. Diba? Alam mo yung parang yeah. Baywatch na parang kagagaling mo lang, kakaahon mo lang sa diba? tubig and right. then naglakad ka. Right. Yeah. So, like, parang galing shower, shower habang nagkukulot na ha. Right. And it was like a... Fresh Iba. air, parang breath of fresh Ako air. Ako, that made her win. Mm-hmm. Like, for me gano. also. Like, diba? sh- like, the body, parang, everything. Like, and parang the swimsuit is really, you know, custom fit for her na. No, it's like she was the one who carried it the best. Yes, yes. yes. Oh. What about the Wang Od uh, inspired gown? Yun talaga. Alam mo, yung gown na yun, sobrang delicate. Like, oh, you didn't even it. hang it. Kaya yun ang kinakabahan si Michelle. Kasi, y- when you pack it in the box already, hindi mo siya pala ilabas. Kasi nga, baka mag... Yung mga jewels, right. pag magdikit-dikit siya, uh-huh. she was so scared about it. Mm-hmm. But okay. then, nung lumabas na, talagang it was like, grabe yung ganda. details. Right. And the inspiration behind it. Okay, and the story. Di ba? The, I'd the say story, one of the, the best gowns natin sa Miss Universe. Beautiful. Yes. Ako, congratulations, Mark, for watching. Tsaka stand out, di ba? Nung sa mag-bed. Kaya nga, okay. I really thought, actually, parang, Oh my gosh, like sure it's in the bag. Top five Wait, na to. If top you were five. to if you were to have your top five, Sino. Ah, oh, ang hirap. Sige, like for lang. me, um, it was Nicaragua, um, Thailand. Agree ako. Um, Philippines. Philippines, agree ako. Um, well, Colombia was in my, you okay, know. Colombia. And, well, I love Australia. Yeah. Actually, parang si Puerto Rico. Sorry, Puerto, Puerto Rico yung tatagaling ko. Same. 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 Parang si Puerto wow. Rico yung tatagaling ko. Interesting. Okay, Shams, this is a question. Um, Miss Pakistan uh, came out in, uh, how do you call that? Burkini? Yes, Burkini. Interesting. Miss Nepal? You know, the, how, how do you call that? Um, uh, but Tito Boy, she was not the first plus size who plus made it size? through the top 15. Yeah, yeah. oo. Si but, Shiera from Canada. No, but I love the way she performed Miss Nepal. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. And she Confident. had the, the fans, oh, oh. Like, she had the yeah. most oh, like, applauded. Portugal came into the picture, right. I mean, mm-hmm. who is uh, a trans uh, woman? Colombia is a mother and uh, and a wife. I love it. I Ito, love, given no? this, na nag-expand na yung konsepto mm-hmm. ng Miss Universe, ano ang estratehiya ng Miss Universe Philippines ngayon? Well, for us now, you know, it's different na rin. And now, we're not allowing screenings anymore. Okay. You have to win in your regional pageants. Ah, okay. Yeah, so if you <coughs> want to become the next Miss Universe Philippines in 2024, <coughs> then you have to be to a, compete to locally, compete locally mm-hmm. or you have to be appointed by a okay. local partner. All right. So, ganun na, mas, mas mahirap na yung laban. But hopefully, through this process, we will find the gem. That's why need to be found. <laughs> mas, ma, mas mahirap na yung susuungin mong karayom. Pero, yes. we will, I think, be able to appoint the best of the best Oo. in the future. Sayang, hindi natin napag-usapan <laughs> ang uh, 
ang Miss Grand International. Oh <laughs> okay na ba kayo? Okay na ba kayo? Hindi pa po kami nag-uusap dito. Hindi pa kami nag-uusap. I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, that's for another conversation. Ako naman, isa na lamang ang note ko. Yung Q&A lang, sana you can discuss this also with the Miss Universe organization. I don't mind translators. I am, that's fair. Yes. I am, that's fair. Ang problema ko sa Q&A is halimbawa pag nagtatanong, tanong, sagot, stop. 10 seconds. Stop, 10 seconds, stop. Kasi para sa akin, you buy time eh. Yes. Magandang gabi po uh, sa inyo lahat. Uh, ang palagay ko po sa mga kababaihan ay stop, translate. Mm. So, I'm Nakaka able to think what I'm going to say next. Yeah. Yeah. My suggestion is, ipatapos mo yung 30 seconds and yeah. then translate. Baka mm. mahirapan daw yung translator. Hindi eh. You just, <laughs> if, it were, <laughs> if it were 5, 10 minutes, yeah. I understand. You're yeah. just talking about 30 seconds. Right, so, right. Diba? Maraming salamat. Hindi Thank tayo natatapos. Thank you. Magbabuhay kayo, Chelsea. <laughs> Dapat one week, pito boy. Ulang, grabe. Hindi ba? Maraming maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Pero Thank isa lamang ang ibig sabihin na ito, uh, we love beauty. Yes. So, Night Great time. job, Michelle! Kapuso, congratulations, Michelle! Congrats. Michelle. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpapatuloy sa amin, sa inyong mga tahanan. At puso, let's be kind. Make let's your nana and daddy proud. Say thank you. Do one good thing a day, every day, and let's make this world a better place. Goodbye for now, and God bless you.